Okay, I'm bored and um, I'm off work today and just playing around, um, showing a couple what I consider a pocket pistol. And um, so, anyways, first of all, picked up this recently 638 Smith J frame, what I consider like the bodyguard style shrouded hammer and when I got it, it came with the Packmeyer grips that I really wanted on it anyway so that worked out kind of happy about that I haven't yet to shoot it though I bought it a couple weeks ago just really haven't had a lot of time and the weather has been complete garbage and um, I dug this out of the safe I haven't played with this in a long time I'm going to polish it up a little bit and probably got to hit it again because it's stainless and every time you touch a stainless gun, these fingerprints. Drop this slide. So I can do that with one hand. Well, I can't. Magic. Just an old, old beast. I love the Walter PPKS. That is actually probably, even with the fixed sights, one of the most accurate pistols I've ever owned. And I don't think it's with reloads, because I've shot plenty of factory ammo out of this as well. I got this at a gun show eight, nine years ago, and it was like nothing was selling at the gun show. Nothing. And this guy, it was like he sold this to me for gas money to get half a state away with his camper RV and all that crap and all his trailer full of guns but I got this for like 275 bucks I just I mean these are just they're selling for like 799 this is the inner arms import yeah, if you see my serial number I really don't care it's mine so I need to I kind of need to polish that again that light just shows every perfection, imperfection. But early stainless guns, man, you see every little crevice, nick, and grain of the metal. That's why the AMT auto mags, who, which they're getting ready to make again, were so expensive. Stainless tears when you cut it, apparently. But um, this, is, this has got to be one of my favorite pocket pistols. It's just awesome. And I've only got one mag for it, but, you know... I don't think it was really doing a tactical reload with a Walker PPKS. And I'm trying to think what else I've bought recently. I just passed up a V10 compact. Still, you know, who I refer to another guy to if it doesn't sell. Might offer him a little less, might buy it, but no hurry. But I want to know everybody's opinion. What what do you guys think about having dual pistols like a Kimbo? Like I found a pair of Colt I'm really interested in. Kind of set me just under two grand. I don't know how often I'd really shoot them, but I think it's just the fact that I would have two matching. Man, maybe that's just stupid. But damn it, this it would be cool. Table's a little cleaner than it usually is. Yes, that is a gold grenade that is also in my bank. So. Polishing up some brass slowly with one of these jobs. Loaded bacon, I know you use one of these still, but uh, I also have the big tumbler. I just haven't really messed with it. Man, that thing is just a heavy mess. My back's been killing me. Yeah, I'm getting ready to load up. These ugly 38s. I know Timothy Robinson loves funky bird egg colored bullets, but you don't get much more funkier than that. I should have done them all, all up in my chrome powder coat. And, you know, because they look like little Campbell soup cans. 
you know, little flying Andy Warhols. But once again, guys, what's your opinion on akimbo pistols? 